to be adding these tomatoes but i haven't cut them so i'm going to cut the tomatoes and then i add there then after i will show you guys when i'm adding the ground nuts Our food is boiling, no rush, it's going to take 40 to 1 hour, I think it will be ready. Yeah, then I will. Kuniga eat, I don't know in English. Is it smashing or squeezing, any of that, anyway. So yeah, I think now we should go on this, our sauce, and let me see. How we are progressing. Good to go. Now I can add this. The Guinness. So we are making dinner paste. PPG. The salt in it. You guys know the rules of the salt. We don't measure. We put until until what? Our ancestors tell us to stop. So I think my ancestors should tell me when to stop because my instincts are still telling me to add more of the salt. Guys, this looks yummy. Let me see if the salt is enough. Should add a little bit. If it's a lot, but our ancestors can never go wrong, so it cannot be a lot. You guys, I'm like this because of the smoke. Huh? There's a lot of the smoke coming from the firewood cooking place. So never mind. Now let's wait for the time of squeezing the matoke. And then, so for our vegetables, these ones, we are going to use this to cook them or steam them. So you get a banana leaf and then you put it on fire just a little bit to make it soft and able to hold your vegetables as you can see Okay, so we are going to put them here. So you cut your vegetables, greens, like this, and after when you cut them, put them onto here, and then put some of this. These are onion leaves. Just a little bit, spice them up. So it will give them a nice aroma and spiced up. And then add some tomatoes. These are vegetable tomatoes, these small tomatoes for salads. So you put them here also. I don't know if I've put a lot. And then one more thing to add here are onions. If you have curry powder, you can put. 
So after putting all the things in the leaves, then you put some salt and then wrap them in the banana leaf and then put on to the fire after tying them with the banana fiber as you can see in the video basically that's what i was doing then open your boiling food and add that on top check if our food is ready and then we do whatever it's necessary so these are our greens that we had just put let me get something to get them off i don't want to burn myself that's why i'm using this Actually. so let's see if they are ready it's really very hot people Let me just cut it with a music. So this is how they are. Everything is ready. Mmm. So nice. So this is ready. Let's see the matoke now. For the matoke, before I remove the matoke, I have to first remove the sweet potato. This water is to help me not to get burnt. Guys, nice, these are our potatoes. Hope I don't pour it now. They are very ready. So you guys with the matoke, you remove it from here and put it here and then you can squeeze it like this. Put some water because it's very hot and then smash them. And if your hands are very hot, you can use this also. You guys can see they are smashed not really well but i'm trying but the matoke were very young but if you don't want to use your hands you can use this just get this and put like this This is a miracle. I don't. So this is how they serve the matoke. And then some of this. 
Then you put her so. Put that one there and put that one also there. So that's our food ready. <sighs> Guys, thank you for watching this video till the end. Please, if you've watched only the second one, go back and watch the first video and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Maria,